in today's video i'll show you how to purchase a proxy so we'll do together i'll purchase a proxy for ipv4 uh, ipv4 and uh, for ipv6 and the isp proxies the residential proxy and the mobile proxy so we'll purchase it together and connect it to this anti-detect browser the ix browser so this is an anti-detect browser it's free you can open multiple uh, profile so you can open as many profile as you want uh, if you can uh, compare to go login or more login they do just uh, give you okay they have a limit uh, for how many account, uh, profiles you can open uh, but for this uh, for ix browser you can open as many profiles as you want so uh, let's begin I'll start with the IPv4. So let me just uh, choose North America and then I'll choose the USA. So I'll just only purchase one IP. I don't need all these IPs, but I'll just purchase uh, one IP. Click on buy. And then I'll just uh, the location is US. And uh, if you want, if you want to purchase uh, for one week this is uh, this will cost you like 0 0.9 dollars but okay let's just choose a month which is 1.8 dollars and then the purpose i'll just uh, write remote work and then uh, just i only will need one ip and then the username yeah I'll choose username and password not a static ip just username and password and then the payment method if you're using a visa or usdt but for me i'll just use uh, my balance and then the code so i'll tell you guys make sure to use the code so let me just show you that uh -huh. here's the code uh, it's already activated and then i'll submit the order so you can see the uh, thank you for your payment uh, thank you for the payment activation in one to two uh, one to three minutes so we'll go check our email and check uh go find our proxy so in the meantime download this browser it's called the ix browser just uh, search isbrowser.com and then come and download for free uh, before you install the application or while it's downloading just make sure to sign up you'll have to put your email address and then this, uh, send the verification code and uh, login password and confirm the password and if you have an invitation code you can input that so let me do that and then we move to the next step once everything is complete, uh, you've already signed up and downloaded the application. So you have to install the application to your computer. It's not available in the for Android, but I'll show you how you can uh, connect your proxy to your phone. Okay. Now, so once you're already on, your, on their dashboard, just you have to close this tab. Then you'll be on the proxy uh, profile list. All right. So what we'll do. Just come and click on create profile here and then you'll see no IP resources added so just click on continue to create and then on this part you can see the platform so just choose a blank page and then the profile name you can name it if let's say you're using for a an account huh? let's say maker so just name it maker and then the, the selected group just leave it, uh, leave it at that and the username password just don't fill out uh, fill in those ones so go next step or oh, you okay you, you can click on the step here or you, you can all you can just click on the next step and then proxy type so let's go to our email and copy the uh, credentials for our uh, for our proxy now uh, here's our proxy just go to your email address eh? they will process the proxy within one to one to three minutes so you just have to give it time and then after that here's our the port for all proxies so it uh, this 
this port number is for HTTPS or HTTP and the, the port this port number is for SOX5 so we'll be using SOX5 so just copy the number and on IX browser the proxy type you should choose is SOX5 and then paste the, the this the hoster so on the proxy port you have to paste now the number then let's go back let's copy the host so here is this your IP is this one uh, this one is now the host just copy it like that go back and uh, paste it on the proxy host just like that and then the proxy account now is the username here is the username the login copy that go back and uh, paste it on the proxy account and then on the proxy password uh, copy the password uh, it is and uh, paste it on the proxy password so after filling uh, filling in all this come click on this button here proxy detection globe uh, global line don't uh, don't click on this uh, arrow here just click this one and you can see that uh, our IP now here is the region it's active so you just click on create and then here's your pro uh, here's your profile so uh, you can And you can see here the, uh, the proxy is already uh, this is the browser that you're going to use to make application on the online jobs so you can click on new tab and then you can now browse the website that i do share okay so let's go and uh, purchase the isp proxy now uh, but purchasing the i uh, the ipv6 is the same as all these three okay it's the same uh, the the process uh, the procedure that we'll be following is the same as these other ones okay so the difference is uh, the difference is this one is an ipv4 and this one is ipv6 so the difference on this one isp this is the static residential okay so it's the same thing nothing changes but if uh let me just guide you on how to purchase the residential cause most of you get lost at this point so just click on the residential proxies view plan and then you can see per gb cost 3.5 dollars so i'll just get the i'll just purchase on this one and then on the order format you can as well change the gb if you want 300 gb but that will cost you a lot so you can see the cost of uh, the cost of uh, 100 gb will cost you like 220 dollars uh. but we only need one gb but just purchase the amount of gps that will serve you for the for for your work okay so i'll just choose one gb payment method i'll use my balance and then the code i usually told i usually tell you don't forget to use the code don't forget to use the code okay because you'll get a discount online jobs too so well the amount that i'll be paying is 3.15 and then click on submit the order and then we give it time uh, about one to three minutes but the difference is that we'll be inputting the specific uh, location that we will need so on your email just go confirm this is what uh, you need to fill in uh. so i uh, will see your order has been confirmed so they are already processing uh. now the order okay this is the order now uh, the order number country one gb target so you uh, when we are 
before we get assigned the proxy we'll choose the country and target the if it's the state so if you want a texas you'll enter texas and then the specific service you'll put the specific service and the quantity is 1 gb the term is that one and then authorization method is by login and password so i'll take you to that process so let's give it time once uh, the three minutes are over you'll get a proxy then what you need to do at the next step is just click on this uh, the profile uh, the profile uh, tab and then click on the orders and on your orders you go directly to resident so that's the residential proxy you purchase the residential proxy so go to resident and then now we love to create our proxy okay so you can either choose a sticky proxy or a rotating proxy so a rotating, uh, a, a rotating proxy is the one that uh, it changes from uh, how should i say it it it's not a uh, it changes different uh, location okay but the sticky one it will it will just uh, remain on the the uh, it will be just only for it will remain on one location okay so um some other website will it depends huh? like for micro workers i recommend you can use, you can either use a rotating proxy or a sticky proxy but let's go with the sticky proxy and you can see that uh the gb that we purchased is 1 gb so you can see it remains 1 gb so you can go see how many gb that is used so the total used remaining reserve reserve used and the total gb that is uh, remaining and you can add gb later on if you want to purchase more but uh that's how you do it so let's now add our ip address okay here it is name of the list you can enter a name so let me just call it victor generally it's not a general you can use uh, sticky authorization method just use the password and then export format we can use a link and then filter now country country just choose united states region this choose texas texas city okay let me look for a city you can choose any city that you want but let me just go with uh, dallas and then select isp so the sterling this dallas county a at and t internet area yeah, so you can choose any okay and then port just one is okay and then the output format you can choose the format that you want so you can either login password at ip and then port or like this so you can choose any format that you want so I'll go with uh, this one huh? and then click on create. So once you've already created, you can check your IP list over here. So here is our IP. Uh, here is our, yeah, our proxy. Now let's go and connect with this proxy. Now, before we continue, uh, connecting it huh? so you see this link you just have to click on this link then save the file you can see that uh, here is the proxy format now huh? so let's head over to ice browser and connect this proxy so come over here click on create profile follow the same procedure and then go to proxy configuration and the proxy type 
you just choose Sox 5 and then copy now the IP hoster just copy this res.proxyseller.com just copy the entire word this cheat here and then what number the here it is copy then paste it there then go to password and uh, but let me show you another trigger instead of putting these all of these uh, step uh, step by, uh, like one by one just copy the entire proxy like this then paste it here just like that it will uh, fill in the the entire the, it will fill in all the fields now after that click on proxy detection we confirm first that the proxy is working quite well and you can see region us dollar so we just click on create and then we need to go and test our proxy here just click on open and you can see our proxy is working properly so let's go to pixel scanner let's test if it's consistent so click on the first link and then click on start check so let's give it time to load it looks like uh, it takes a lot of time to load uh, but that's how to purchase a residential proxy and you can always check out uh, the fingerprint if it's consistent you're good to go but all residential proxies are always the best okay so you can search on my ip and then you can confirm your ip address so you can see dallas texas so everything looks good and that's how you purchase a proxy and that's how you connect it to ip address on so the next video i'll make how i'll make a video on how to connect it to more login and go login so i'll see you on the next video